Hello folks, welcome back to, uh, yeah, more Gran Turismo 7. Uh, not the first time I've done this tonic, to be fair, but uh, we don't uh, we don't double stream Gran Turismo 7 very often. Uh, now the plan was to get some qualifying done before I started the stream, but uh, my microphone decided to break. Well, the, the stand for, it's on a wee tripod stand and one of the legs fell off, so... Uh, I ended up having to fix that, and then when I kind of loaded everything up, I decided to try and work out why the fake Streamlabs is using so much of my CPU now that I stream. It's literally using 10% more than it did the day before with that update, which is like... I don't bore you with the jargon, but like 10% is like... Like an overhead, I guess, that I'm using so that everything runs smoothly. And I've basically just lost 10% of usage, which is... It's frustrating to say the least. It's, it seems like it's fine when I'm on the game, but for running the intro, it seems to be really high. Yeah. So I was trying to work out why it was doing that. I was in like, things like Task Manager and all that kind of nonsense. But yeah, never got to the bottom of it. Welcome in everybody. Andy, apologies, but I hope you're streaming anyway, Andy. Maybe see you on track. Yeah, but you should never not stream because somebody else is streaming to be. Always just stream, do your own thing. True, welcome in, Toric as well, Bjorn, Luna, J, Warnut, nice to see you all folks, nice to see you all. Looks like we're still, uh, we're still down with the, still down in split two, I was I thought we were getting split one, but apparently not. Right, before this race gets underway, let me just do it some very quickly. Dave, thank you very much for being a member of the channel for... 17 months as well, I appreciate that. Thank bros in this one. Let me just do it. <sighs> Loud, welcome in as well. Yeah, thank you very much for the good luck there, Dave, and thank you very much for being a channel member for 17 months. One of the OGs, one of the OGs. All right, that's updated that, right? We're going in a little bit. Probably just as well we're in last place, folks. Now, I did do, I did one qualifying lap. We're in the Jaguar. Uh, this is just a... This is just a warm-up race. Tank grow up in P2. Founds is in this one, so it must be pretty stacked still up in the, the top lobby. So it'll be pretty, pretty stacked up there. Alright, I think we're good. I'm pretty sure that's uh, Naked Ape in front of us as well. Let's see what the Jaguar can do, let's see what we can do with the tyres. Wacky Wilson, welcome in. Appreciate that so many people joined nice and early in the stream. Thank you very much, folks. Uh, I had some good races now, I hope we'll get some good races. So thank you very much, Bjorn. Go we'll back. had some good races, there were some good moments this morning, I enjoyed, I enjoyed this morning's stream. There's stuff going on, that's what you want. I don't even look at Rory's overtake by the way, it was actually a good overtake. He actually just, he surprised me, superbly to be fair to him. I said, "Oh, he's just seen, seen as much." You know, it was a, it was a good pass, actually, a very good pass. Opportunistic, but good. Neil, how you doing, mate? Mm. 
Right, a couple of people in, a couple of Citroëns in. After these tyres just now, decide whether we're changing or not. But Alpha 4 C's going side by side. Henry, how you doing, mate? So yeah, I'm going to do this for a couple of hours, folks, at least, and then, <coughs> oh, I'm going to decide if I'm going to carry on doing this or I might jump over to World Attacks on the other channel. Oh, jeez, I'll raid myself. I have got, like, a World Attacks uh, dream set up. Oh, can't remember, I don't actually, I've got that one set up. I think one set up. Oh, there's been drama down here. Oh, jeez, oh, what's going on? Cars everywhere. I'm bros got five sec pen. Right, we're up to the tank, bro. <laughs> You've hit through everything like you're in a tank. How you doing, Lash? Corvette's good in the race. Ooh. Corvette is pretty decent to be fair. I think it's had a wee buff as well, but. I like those front tyres, I think. I mean, I didn't just double down and throw in silks, no. Silly to defend in the turn one. It's cost everybody time. This is this is not a race where you should really defend, to be honest with you. You either you really just want to do your race as quickly as possible and fight it out on the last lap. That's what this race is all about. Feels good though. They love the Jag. Re downloading GT7, what happened, Lish? Any special reason or just. I can never do Daily B loud. I'd be like the biggest hypocrite in the world if I ever do Daily B now, so I've kind of... I've ruled myself, myself out ever being able to do Daily Race B ever. Unless uh, we get kicked out of Daily Race C. <laughs> I have had some pretty strong opinions on Daily Race... Uh, Daily Race B over the years. He delayed in an age. Not two races off of Adrian, I didn't realise you played as much. Slow pace, isn't it? Slow pace, you're well into the 53s. Don't even get past this McLaren, cleanly.
not they don't race intelligently sometimes, do they? They do not race intelligently. Alright, okay. Have they started to piss me off a little bit, Art. L250, I'm not gonna lie. If it started to peeve me off. Unintelligent way to race. Unintelligent way to race, my friend. Bump up. It was clean, good clean racing, I just think it was... We'd been better served if we'd just kind of given it up a little bit sooner. For both our races. Cata, how are you doing, Rockwell? Yeah, pretty strong opinions against this. You see that we're right on Still a lot of people out there preaching bad information about traction control in this game, I would say, Tonic. Flash, Rokeman. Jaggy, I think, is lovely, I must say. It was lovely. They have bad tyres over here. You're getting some solid results today, Flash Dagger. Very solid results. Giving the lobbies. <laughs> Not far off it, Dave. <laughs> right, where are we? Eighteen seconds, who's crossing the line? I had uh, quite a lot of them. A couple of decent laps. Man, it could be kind of button with a top seven. Well, that is not a good bus stop. The understeer starting to kick in there. Oh. 
poor uh, front left. Yeah, good combo. Yeah, Watkins Glen always, always a pleasure to drive Watkins Glen. I've never had it in anything other than Group Three or Group Four, though, have we? I think. Uh, I think they could expand their horizons with what we get to race on it. I think any group would work here. Definitely probably better off in the NSX because we can keep the tyres alive a lot longer. We'd still be probably be in the 53s in the NSX. You definitely feel the the drop off in the tyre performance with the Jaguar. But more. Are you doing wind? Welcome in again. Appreciate it. Are you up to 100k yet? You were certainly putting the results in. I'm assuming so because I see you doing some races from the back as well. You'll be all set. Has chewed the tyres. Look at how we're only two times down on our best lap. Where we are, we get anybody close to us, right enough. Yeah, you're not touching this combo again, <laughs> fair enough. Yeah, I thought you were. I, mean, I, see, I seen you in the Lamborghini, so I thought, yeah, you must have kind of got up to. Up to 100k. Six. Could be casualties down here into the bus stop. There's definitely some cars. Uh... Side by side. Everyone survived. Using a Jaguar again is nice, but that tire wear is brutal. The X was for you, Henry. That's the worst tyre wear I've had at any car that I've tried. 
Womble is a chance of the rear of Womble treble street with some tanks later. I am considering it, Flash. I am considering it. I've got like a thumbnail, thumbnail and all that made up. I've not got it set up yet, but I, there is a possibility. I'm going to see how I feel after a couple hours of this Flash. So, yeah, there is a, there is a small chance it might happen. Ben, welcome into the stream. Yeah, yes, the rear double stream on Grand Turismo Seven. I felt like we didn't have too many great races this morning, so I thought, yeah, let's uh, let's have another wee go and see if we can get some better results. What's going on in the chat? Looks like the stream. Having problems there. You're behind on the stream only 2 minutes 15, so that's quite good for you. Womble, like with Apex, he decided front left tyres at the end of the race were optional. Yeah, hey, that's, that's, for some people that's loads of tyre left anyway, I can assure you. Welcome in everybody, appreciate it. If you're here for the second time, then... Thank you very much for being here for two streams. Yeah, tank bro, we've seen you with the five second penalty. <laughs> no, it happens. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do some qualifying now though, Tonic. I am going to do some qualifying. Uh, left, out of here. You're playing light tanks and cold war, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you obviously they're rapid, aren't they? A rapido. Driving around the battlefield at 80 kilometers an hour, 90 kilometers an hour. Yeah, that'd be good fun. Yeah, but as long as we're kind of missing it by being too high lash, we can accept it. P8's more hurtful than P6, to be fair. P8 hurts more than P6, you know, at least if we're, at least if we're like, missing the P-Womble by being too good, then we'll definitely accept it. Yeah, you definitely, I mean, i never seen what happened, Tank Bro, you, you certainly uh, you, you certainly left a trail of chaos. I'm not trying to make you feel bad or anything. <laughs> we definitely came across a, a scene of destruction and chaos by the time we got down to down to the, the bottom hairpin. Yeah. One of these things that happens, that happens. I'm sure it was more, more than anything, it's probably to do with other people not being careful enough uh, or sort of reading the situation rather than you going off the track. Welcome in, busy child. I make too many mistakes. Keep dropping my rear tyre off the bus stop on the last corner. I take it you are in the uh, the low bumper cam. Then that's probably a big problem when you're playing that camera. I'm lost on the conversation and chat anyway, so I can't be bored going back to try and find out what you guys are talking about. <laughs> Carry on, as you were. I'll go and try and do a qualifying time in this NSX. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's definitely one of these tracks though, Busy Child, where you, it's very easy to dip a wheel on the grass. Like this corner here, it's, it's easy to, that's like the easiest thing in the world to do. Same that you can do it down into turn one as well. It's, uh, Yeah, slowly but surely, Flash, slowly but surely. Come on, Aaron. Nice to see you. This isn't a terrible lap by the way, this is not a terrible lap by any stretch of the imagination. Oh that might be a penalty though, which will be gutting. I think this is into the 52s. couple of times at the end there but A couple of times out that corner. Been a couple of times there. Did make an arse to the last corner. Maybe a point six, maybe. No, not a point six, a point eight. Point seven, point eight. We'll take that in with us. A <laughs> flesh, dearie me. Dearie me. But yeah, we're getting towards 7k flash, but to be honest with you, I kind of, the numbers stopped meaning that much to me a wee while ago, I kind of realised, I came, I, came, I came to the realisation that the channel had, uh, 
Like the, the chance of the channel ever becoming anything particularly big had passed, so I just and I kind of in a way it kind of gave me I don't mind because it kind of just gives me creative freedom. It means I can do videos on whatever I want, even if I think they're going to flop. It means I don't have to be particularly careful in live streams anymore or anything, you know, to try and please people. Uh, it'd be nice. It'd be nice if the channel had took off and blew up and stuff and and became big, but. It never happened and, you know, I kind of accepted that. And I'm still in a very, 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 very lucky position because to have 7k subscribers is still more than what 99.5% of people will ever get, you know? So I can't... Still, uh, I still know that I've, uh, I'm lucky. But at the same time, yeah, I've kind of realised that the channel has plateaued very much. But as I said, sometimes I'm sitting there and I make a video and I go, this video's not going to do well. I don't have to care. If nobody watches it, it's not like it really, you know, it's not like the algorithm's in my favour that heavily. So if I put out a crap video that, that flops completely, I can still do it. I don't have to worry about the numbers and kind of something not doing very well. It's actually, it actually gives you a sense of freedom on your channel rather than if you're continuing to grow, then you feel like there's a pressure there to keep sort of the numbers have to keep kind of doing the right thing. And as I said, you know, seven say subscribers is nothing to sniff at, and I enjoy what I do on the channel, and it puts a little bit of money. It, make, it actually makes a reasonable amount of money for the size of it. Team Crusher, welcome in. Hundred percent, Dave, as well. Hundred percent, yeah. I mean, I even struggled to. Uh, I even struggled to keep up with the chat as it's going. You know, my chats. You guys are just amazing in the chat. Macarta in this one. Oh, Macarta, you're in the mosquito. <laughs> worked out very well for Macarta. This is true, Tonic, this is true, 100%. Flash Dagger, thank you very much for the 189 Iron Brew supplies. There's always a need for Iron Brew supplies here, that's for sure. Here's Flash, I appreciate that very much. Iron Brew is getting discontinued anyway, no chance. some swatting. Blimey, how are you doing? Yeah, I'll keep doing what I'm doing. Oh, I'm more than happy, honestly. I'm more than happy. I feel like absolutely no pressure. The only thing I feel a little bit under pressure to do on this channel is to get the strategy guide out on Monday. That's the only little bit of pressure that I've got. The rest of it, I can stream when I want. I can 
Da hinten fährt die Uschen ab, da wohin. Äh, yeah, I don't feel that I've, you know, I don't feel like I've got to do anything on the channel. With the exception of Monday morning. Obviously that's what the channel was born on, so... That's, if there's any, if there's any kind of series of videos that keeps the algorithm going in my favour, it's the strategy guides on Monday morning, so... Yeah, I'm, uh, honestly, I don't know if I would enjoy it as much if I felt like I had to stream every day, if that's actually, if it, if it, you know, let's just say it did take off and I could actually go, oh, do you know what, I could actually. I do, I honestly do think it would take some of the enjoyment out of it. Drew, thank you very much for the five, seven billion dollars. He says five pounds right enough, true. Thank you very much, true. Good kind of you. I'll do my best to get them. Could be a decent result on here. Tangbro up in P1. In some good pace. I know, Tonic, that's when I, was, when I was hung over, I was thinking, people are going to think I'm dead. I don't put the strategy guide out on Monday, people are going to be concerned for my safety. <laughs> be fair, I wasn't far off being dead on my, that Monday morning. Not very good turn one, was it? So, is that the Founds in P2? Dying bro has gone. But no, I could ask from honestly, say like the amount of engagement on the videos, the amount of comments and positive comments and good comments and interesting comments and stuff. Definitely couldn't ask for any more. There's definitely one person who comes into every video and leaves a dislike though. <laughs> There's definitely one person because it's always like when you look at your videos it tells you your uh, it tells you your percentage of likes is always like 99.9, 99 99.7% of thumbs up, so there's definitely, but it's always, it's always at 99 point something, definitely some person who comes in and dislikes everything, which I appreciate just as much, honestly. I respect the commitment. Yeah, absolutely, Ben, yeah. So see Mr. Fusion yet, have we? I believe Velasa is a Brazilian lish.
Force me, but I'm hoping they'll just they'll all end up fighting with each other. Those with some sort of tank bro on the NSX. He's up there doing 52 nines in clean air, he's got some good pace in the NSX, hasn't he? It's the founds he bailed out the pit, so I wonder if he crossed the yellow liners to say he didn't want a part of that. Not at all, Jay. Not at all. Some people much prefer streaming compared to videos, or some people just like the chat, don't they? I mean, I'll be honest with you, I don't watch that many Grand Turismo videos unless it's on a kind of interesting subject. I don't just watch, like, if somebody's just done, like, a race review and went, oh, this is an awesome race, I'm like, wait, I'll take your word for it, but <laughs> I'm not watching. Uh, yeah, I'm more interested in actually the video, you know, a bit more interesting than that. Explains what you know it for, Jay. Is he on the list? Yeah. Well, I got himself on the list at Bathurst, so it did. But we were racing him this morning, it was all good. It was all good. It was all good. He was maybe having a bad day at Bathurst, but he took me out two races in a row, so he did. One of them was definitely done. <laughs> I'm all talk, I talk about revenge puns, but I never do that. Stop going at the third gear there, I don't know why I'm doing it. Got a mosquito behind us, no mercy to the mosquitoes. <laughs> Me too, I like tyres as well, Aaron, can you tell? I may have done a few videos on tyres. It's a tactical pit stop, right? I thought, I'll compromise Stefanzi there, right? Hopefully move ahead of the other guys. And then he can catch up to the Lamborghini and get held up. That was a, that was a tactical pit stop. We'll see if it works for me. I'll probably just come out in a big blitz of horses. But uh, we'll see if it works for me. It doesn't look like we're coming out in clean air, that's for sure. We might get lucky, you never know. Don't fight, don't fight. Don't want to be fighting, he's got a penalty. Push him. Now, little Nicky. Little Nicky's usually rapid. Look at 
past the uh, HC is the question. Nope, oh, because I've uh, made a complete arse of my exit. Driving my friend. Am I going to help anybody try to go side by side through? I don't think it's such a run through. Tire wear. Woo. Why are you struggling your tires? My car's off. See it, one book, no said it. Guy's not the most intelligent driver I've ever came across behind me. Maybe stop hitting me. Matt, welcome in. Uh, really, the big sale. Dyer, keep that P6 from the mosquito. Thank you, Dream Crusher. Yeah, it was alright, wasn't it? Daya gave me the space, to be fair. I actually got a wee bump from the mosquito behind me to actually give me the, the impetus to get past. Oh, 
Oh, cheers, Matt. I appreciate that. Yeah, get that. How can I race and read chat? I've been doing it for a wee while, true, that's why. I managed to, I didn't really keep up with the chat there towards the end, but thank you for everyone that's in the stream. 53 people watching, I appreciate it. <laughs> Disappointing, no P Wombo, but geez. We got the P Wombo this morning, Lesh. We did get a P7 this morning. Tank bro, nice time by the way. 1725 is really quick, honestly. I didn't realise you had that pace. I really didn't really know you had that pace. Excellent job. Awful, delete this game. <laughs> well, it went wrong very early for you, Nakata, didn't it? You might be better off not in the 4C. The 4C, unless you've done plenty of laps and practice in it, it's a tough, tough car. Drive, I reckon. I think a P5 though, yeah, absolutely. It definitely struggles compared to them in the last two laps, doesn't it, Tank Bro? You're all over them. You're all over them for like six laps and then the tables turn as your tyres kind of get a bit squishy. Seventeen twenty two in the four C. I mean, that's like proper. That's proper alien times tank, bro. I mean, wind was doing. I think I seen wind do a seventeen nineteen in the four C. It did like a twenty and a twenty one as well. So if you think you can do a twenty two, proper fast. Yeah, it does. De definitely does. Dream Crusher, but I've got to admit, I've got to admit, I. You know, as much as I loved last week's Daily Race C, I did miss a 20 minute race. I did miss a 20 minute race, so I'm, I'm quite... I don't know if that's why I'm maybe even enjoying this a little bit more than, than maybe usual, just because we kind of... we never had it last week. Uh, but I do feel quite... Uh, quite motivated to race this week, so I do. Hank has been an alien for ages. I, I didn't know that. I did not know. Obviously, he's an a, 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 AHR driver. But I, I didn't know you had that pace tank, bro. I really didn't. Yeah, that's uh, that's Matt Harris's special move. Yeah, seen, <laughs> seen you do that loads of times. Yeah, mosquitoes and cockroaches. So, so all my own uh, original material, Dream Crusher. You know, you don't get that kind of chat in any other Gran Turismo stream. Calling cars cockroaches and mosquitoes. Yeah, I can appreciate Key's not everybody's cup of tea, but let's not kind of start any, let's not start any kind of bad talk about chat, please. George L. Rogers, welcome to the stream. Uh, you heard him mention it, have you seen Gamer Muscle's recent review of ACC Nords? It's fairly typical Gamer Muscle, yeah. I can very much imagine, I've seen the video, George, but I've not watched it. Yeah, I can very much imagine how it went. I was watching his stream for about 40 minutes yesterday, just, he just eviscerates. I mean, I kind of agree with him when it comes to ACC, he kind of actually made a really good comment about that the force feedback's really good in terms of feeling the suspension and the weight of the car, but it's terrible for telling you about oversteer and understeer, so... And that's exactly how I feel about the force feedback in ACC. Super immersive, very immersive, fun to drive, but then the car just goes for me and I'm like, I, 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 I get no warning whatsoever about that. The aliens can do 18s total time. You're not far off it though, thank bro.
Yeah, hopefully, Holden. Hopefully, that's the plan going forward. They're going to mix it up. That's all we really asked for, wasn't it? I mean, I would, I'd much prefer just have an additional race that kind of runs every three or four hours as a daily race D, but, you know, I'm just glad there's a little bit of originality coming into sport mode because the format's just been the same for such a long time. No worries, true, no worries. GT8 is out next year anyway. We've got that from an official source in the chat. Cars, welcome to the stream. Golf Tango Foxtrot, welcome in. Yeah, that's how I've kind of felt about it for a long while. I think it's better now than it used to be, Tonic, to be fair. I think there's a little bit more there now, but... Ah, Dream Crusher. GT servers, uh, sports servers were turned off, what, January, was it? So, yeah, I don't think, don't think we're going to see too much, uh, I don't think they're ever going to add an additional race, but I would love to be wrong. I would love to be Even, right, do you know what? Even if there was just an additional race on, like, non manu and Nations, see, like, the, the, the period between seasons of, uh, Nations and Manu, if they just ran an additional race on those weeks, that would be good. And like a sort of GTWS style race, just so that, you know, you can keep your hand in with the format, I think that would be really interesting way for them to kind of just keep the interest between the seasons for, for players, but yeah, I know. No, I don't, I, Jay, I, I, I get it. I 100% get that, I'll be honest with you. I would love a mix. I would genuinely love a mix of the force feedback on Gran Turismo in ACC. I love the immersion factor of the force feedback on ACC. But I think Gran Turismo is much better for telling you what the car's doing. I just do. I think you kind of, you feel the understeer, you feel the oversteer instantly in Gran Turismo when, you, when the car's about to do it. You feel the back end, you feel the back end lose grip of the car under braking. And you, I don't, I personally don't get that on ACC. But the force feedback on Gran Turismo can be quite dull. It can be quite muted in a lot of ways as well. Where and, and, and ACC does those bits of the force feedback much better than Gran Turismo 7. So like a mix of the two would almost be perfect. And I think the reason I, and I harp on about it quite a lot, but the true force on the Logitech wheel does a really good job of bringing that immersion back to the force feedback, so... Dead Dave, thank you very much for the five gifted memberships, supporting the channel as always. You actually said that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Force feedback feels like your hands. It's certainly not weak, that's for sure. It's definitely there's definitely plenty of strength to it. Yeah, more longer exhibition seasons. They could uh, they could definitely be a bit more ambitious with the the exhibition seasons, couldn't they? I don't know, Tonic, Nicky's not been into the chat since. He was quite adamant it was going to be Group 2 that week, didn't he? He was adamant. So was that, to be fair. <laughs> but I certainly wouldn't st have staked any money on it. <laughs> I 
tricky if you're out there listening. Don't you feel any pressure? You can come in, tail between your legs, and go. I got it wrong, and we'll we'll let you off if you're uh, your promise of five gifted memberships. Oh, I was maybe doing qualifying, wasn't I? Rather than just talking rubbish. Yeah, true four. I mean, I, I honestly like the G923 because of the true force is probably the best entity the level wheel for Gran Turismo. Then we get Bembo in this one. Tank goes up at the front again. Heat's in this one as well. Just a bouncy little Nicky. It's quite a strong lobby. I'm, I'm going to assume it's not the top lobby again. It's pretty strong. Yeah, True Force and this the G Pro is fantastic. Yeah. Surprised I've not got that full force into the Fanatec wheel yet. You thought it might free up resources at PD? Yeah, as Dable says, it doesn't take much to set up daily races. I mean, they, they literally just have like a more advanced option selection to us, you know? <clears throat> you could give anyone that's played, like, anyone that plays this game a lot, you give them an hour, and you could come up with some really good daily races. More, welcome to the stream. Well, I'm on PS4 pad and I can tell how much that uh, an ability to be like. Put the cat is in again, the cat's having another go. To see. the bike super late on that car. Uh oh, I'm off, I'm off. <laughs> yeah, take it, I did one more. Right. Yeah, the TGT has the transducer, doesn't it? Terrible driving. A weird corner that you literally do miss your braking point by a few meters, you go flying off the track. We can still get a top 10 more. I'm confident there's still a top 10 in this. Like the track's completely different to the last race. That was fairly impressive, Dave, wasn't it? 
I mean, I had to jump out of the way, but... I'll give him full credit for getting the car stopped and not dying. Pro pedals, yeah, they're pretty good. They're pretty good. They, they don't do too well in reviews, the G Pro pedals, but I think what happened was that, for whatever reason, Logitech kind of put the weakest kind of uh, stoppers in it. So I think a lot of reviewers thought the G Pro pedals weren't that good, but once you put the kind of and she kind of put some of the other stoppers in, I think it kind of proves them a lot, but yeah, I like them, they do me fine. I don't put too much uh, weight in pedals anyway, in terms of, I don't think, I, mean, I, am, I know I'm very much in the minority. Some people swear that the pedals are more important than the wheel, but for me, pedals are kind of just like pedals. I've never really felt like a massive difference between pedals that I've used. I could just say something about my driving technique no more than anything else, but... Oh, I remember the sort of rattly days from my uh, G29. So, I love the G29. Such a good wheel. I did pat there, I could see this was going to be a cluster. And if I could overtake three cars into the bus, what would you do? It's just a what game? I like to add the stop. You slap that, that's a bullshit game. Who tasted that one? If you're asking me if I've used the T3PA, I have never, uh, I've never actually owned anything from Thrustmaster, either I have, so... I was tempted to buy the T248, so I was, just so I had a Thrustmaster wheel in my collection, but... I 
I would love to try the TGT on Gran Turismo. The TGT 2. That's it, Neil. Maybe make sure you get first shot on it. I can't wait till we you find out who that is, Neil. If it's somebody we might know. <laughs> I really do. The cat is still alive, five laps into the race. He's in, he's in a mosquito though. The cat, if that car, if your car is still in front of me towards the end of the race, that might start looking awful like an artery to me. I mean, really did what you think. Stop fighting you two! Okay, yeah, but oh, I would sing as well, that's a bit harsh. Struggling in that McLaren. Not that good, is it? Into here. Push you till you serve your penalty. You get it my way, are you? Have they gave you a push until you served your penalty? Lap seven. I was in good shape. When does uh, his first master direct drive wheel get any plans are coming out on the consoles? I don't even remember the name of it. They do have. It looks like a decent wheel.
Tiva was a Logitech, right? I don't know how easy it would be for him to do, but. We have Logitech where we came out with a direct drive wheel, like just a small motor direct drive wheel with maybe three to four newton meters three to four newton meters worth of power. Because newton meters don't matter that much. The true force and you can sell it for like under I don't know, three hundred and fifty pounds, three hundred pounds, they would absolutely clean up so they would. would absolutely clean up the budget market of wheels on console and on PC. Fanatec as well, Busmaster. Some kind of small motor to direct drive wheel. Doesn't have to be uber powerful, it really doesn't. Wow, the tyres are in such good shape for. Top 10, tank goes absolutely dominated again. A P10 giving me foot off the track in lap 1 or lap 2 or whatever. Was it lap 1 we threw it off the track? Not too bad. We never really got many clean laps in, did we? We were all. Most of the laps in the 54s, mid 54s, where we can do mid 53s. No, my cat has been killed. <laughs> Did more, you did. Yeah, 4C is faster. <laughs> I didn't realise you were in the 4C. <laughs> I dominated again, tank bro. Domination. Still, at least we've got heat up there in a Supra, Dyer's up there in the Huracan. We've got Alex Zoni in the NSX, so... I mean, at least it's not became completely one, one car race. Alan, how you doing? Yeah, Mo Moza need to get themselves into the console market. I know, as uh, I think somebody did say that you can. I think somebody did say you can. There is obviously a workaround with a, an adapter, but I don't know. Maybe companies like Moza just don't realise the market. In fact, actually, you don't get Moza on Xbox. 
Is there, is there not a Moser wheel on Xbox or am I just making that up? Yeah, that new Turtle Beach wheel doesn't, I mean, I watched a couple of reviews and they were quite positive about how it performs, but my god, it looks disgusting. It looks awful. Yeah, I do, I mean, maybe not so much the, the, <laughs> the fact it costs more on a PS5, but, god, the, the fact that there's, like, wheels out there that cost two and three grand is... It's ridiculous. I mean, ah, I, I bought that. I, I mean, I spent what twelve hundred pound on this plus the pedals, and I don't regret it. But I still think it was overpriced. I can't even use the DualShock 4 to play Tekken. And there's anything that we need to save the replay in that one, is there? What are you using, Dream Crusher? That sounds like DD Pro Price. Sounds like the price of a DD Pro. Well, you murdered Nakata, yeah, I seen little Nicky apologising to you in the chat. <laughs> Fourth and ten, Fabric out to seven, which is leaving. This is true. Oh, TGT2, yeah. You think that's bad? I bloody paid what I paid for this and then bloody PD nerfed it. So, like, this is a 11 newton meters, but I can only get 7 on it. Gran Turismo nerfs this wheel so you can't get the full power. It's an outrage, an absolute outrage. But still, don't get me wrong, I mean, I'm, I've got, I'm only got, I've got this set at 10. Even though I don't get 10 newton meters and I've got the game set at 8. And I get plenty of force. I get plenty of strength in the wheel at that. But yeah, you de nerfed this wheel a wee while back so you don't get the full power from it. Oh, hello, Mr. Pounce. Are you coming to say hello? Oh, Mr. Pounce is here to say hello. There we go, pal. What are you saying? Mr. Pounce. You love coming up and being on camera, don't you? Yeah, that is true, Damo. And it's not like you can go mountaineering. Well, you can go mountaineering every day if you want, but you'll spend that kind of money on, like... Camping gear or mountaineering gear to use like a couple of times a year. Whereas, uh, let's be honest, if you pay that money for a wheel, you're probably using it every day. I don't know what it is. There's a guy on a GT Planet forum. There's one of the uh, one of the Logitech reps kind of replies to a lot of messages and stuff, and he's uh, he's he basically says he's got no idea why PD did that, why they kind of nerfed this wheel in particular, and they have been constantly on at them to try and get it fixed, but they've not really got any. They've never got anything back from back from PD in order to get it sorted. Keefsky, welcome to the stream. I don't know if you were in early, Keefsky, and I've maybe missed you, but welcome in. Yeah, but you can still get the maximum power out of other wheels, though, Keefsky. So, can't be anything to do with that. 
Well, let's go. How are you doing? Welcome in. Do you have True Force on min? I've got it on 9 on this, but I've got it set to 1. I think I have it set to 150 in the game. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, that, this, this setting here affects True Force on this wheel. So I, I kind of maxed. I think the best way I get told to do it was max the game out, then adjust it on the wheel. So one, I've got 150 on there, and I've got 9, as in oh, 1 less than 10 out of 100. Actual wheel settings. They can't, Lesh, they can't, they honestly can't. Because you can actually, what's ridiculous about it is if I put it into compatibility mode, if I put it into G923 mode, I get full power. <laughs> and there is actually a way, there's a sequence of turning the game and the wheel on to trick the game into, you can still be in G Pro mode. You can trick the game and the wheel into giving you full power, but you don't get true force. So it's not something that it's, it's definitely not something that Logitech can patch out themselves because you still get the full power from the other modes. I don't know. Let's jump into a quick qualifying lap. Really, Pounce, you're going to sit there. If you knock the microphone over. Let's try and, try and improve our qualifying time. He's saying that through this game, Pout, if you knock that over, hit me with his tail. <laughs> I'm oh, saying that we need to do that, I hope the car sticks. Throw it in here. Power air leak. Electric, how are you doing? Corner in the biggest possible way. Didn't do too badly on it to be fair. Maybe you downshift the third might be the way to do that. I would love to think I have that kind of influence more, but I'm pretty sure I don't. <laughs> Yeah, that is one of the that's one of the theories that's going around uh, Alan on the on the forum chat, but I wouldn't imagine so. I would be surprised if that's the reason. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's that's what cats do. They love attention, don't they? Alright, we've got Matt Harris at the top, Stefanzi, Nakata, Bembo. We really do need to improve that qualifying time. Even a couple of attempts would put us up here. Roses is in. Jadex is in. 
see what we can do. You talk about if I put it full strength, flesh, make sure I don't steer over my elbow, it's too if I, if, if I kind of trick the wheel into giving me full strength, it's too much. The devil's children, cats. Now who would be daft enough to put their arms through the wheel, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yous are gonna love it though. And that's that's a that's a good short if that ever happens. If I ever put my hand through there and the wheel decides to go and breaks my wrist. That's a short that would go viral. The theory would definitely make sense, yeah. If there was any substance to that though more, I mean that would be pretty shocking stuff. I've got a Bugatti there on behind me. Maybe I'm just being naive, but I'd like to find a little bit more honour amongst companies than that. Would you and slow do I go? Of it by hitting the wall. Why go for the overtake, JDX? Shouldn't get a pain away because I did get hit off. Yeah, you fucker game. JDX, that was all your fault. Your shit racecraft. That was a bump draft down the main street all day. JDX, you had a bit of a nightmare to be around. I don't know why I did that last lap.
Oh, man. Yeah, we, uh... I made a total arse of that load in the last corner, so I did, but I, I don't know why J Dates didn't just bump draft me down the straight and then follow me down. It's like... This race is just all about not fighting until the last lap. be kind to here, I'm not going to overtake you, but you better not bloody make my life difficult in this main street. Nice to race with you. Hensible stuff, I like it. It's going well for Nakata so far, he's up in P3, so we don't curse him. So we don't curse some. Chaps for staying out the way. Stop doing that thing though, isn't it? It's flapping me up here, don't it? Alright. Right, another mosquito dispatched.
<laughs> yeah, drift jet. Not the fastest way to do it though, players get as you can see. Oh, if I did, I'd would be raging. That was my own stupidity if I did get a penalty there. Arkees, how are you doing? I guess you're not good at that. and that mosquito. Don't recognise this world of tanks we have here. Well, to be fair, the Alpha Romeo 4 C is a bit like Arte, a small little annoying thing that hasters you until the end of the game. So. Uh, these four C's are not too far off, Arties. Second. Sight of the P7, which Roses is in. Yeah, you two can fight. I can't imagine you having the patience for light tanks, Jay, I really can't. Go away, Mosquito, you will be shown no mercy. 
mosquitoes get no mercy from me. And that's got to be a penalty, surely. Got to be. Really can't cut it that much. Be that much out of the piss. <laughs> To work together, Roses, we need to keep the mosquitoes behind us. Mercy. Over a move. No mercy. Mosquitoes get no mercy. Yeah, it's supposed to be patience then. Patient and light tax, G. 100%. You're a, you're a Vital for the late battle. Right, one rose, you take P6, I'll take P7. You keep the stream happy. Mosquitoes at bay, don't you worry. Well done, well done. Now Kata got P5 as well, well done. Matt got the win. Little Nicky P2. Stefounzi, Skilkovg, Nakata, Rosies. Beat it to P7. Yeah, so basically, Light Tanks J, do your initial run, get some spotting, sit at the back, find the bush to sit in, preserve your hit points to the end, and then take advantage. Of the late game. That's that's how you play light. It is very hard though. It's a very hard play style. Very hard play style. What? What? I don't know if you can hear him. The gate probably stops his uh, dulcet tones coming. What's up with you? Well. Oh, nice race though. Nice, nice race. Yeah, you two roses. Well done, mate. Four C's are put It's because they've just got so much more grip towards the end, Bembo. They've got so much more grip towards the end, it's uh, in the last couple of laps. Just take my, uh, just have no mercy, Bembo. No mercy. <laughs> We're on tanks for ramming speed.
That was good race. HCZ was good behind us there, actually. Very good behind us. <laughs> so you can no mercy like I speech you a brief heart. <laughs> Yeah, likewise, I had to turn on PS5 this week to see what Ray, Ray was my video. You would say that, Jay. You would say that. Yeah, to be fair, I've not played them on Cold War, Jay, so I really wouldn't know. But yeah, obviously it's such a much it's a much faster playstyle, so maybe maybe it is a bit different. Yeah, and the cat is improving, that's him, he's gonna play all week now. That was a good race, that was enjoyable. That was enjoyable. Uh, right, what am I gonna do? I think that's a good way to finish up on Grand Turismo 7, folks. Uh yeah, just a couple of hours. I think that's ideal. We've had some good races. Yeah, enjoyed that. Don't want to do too much. I'll get bored before the end of the week. So maybe, maybe a good way to end this World of Tanks stream. This isn't World of Tanks one, but this is Grand Turismo 7. Yeah, I think I'm going to end this uh, this stream here, folks. And I'll probably be back on tomorrow for some more races. I may even venture out on the US account or something. Who knows? Yeah, but I appreciate your company tonight. Thank you for all the likes as well. Thank you for the new memberships from Dave and the uh, the donations from Flash and True. Thank you very much. Very kind of you. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be. I'm probably going to be doing. I'm off all week. I'm not back at work until next Monday. So there's definitely potential for lots of Gran Turismo streams and World of Tanks. But yeah, I might. I don't want to commit to being on World of Tanks in about half an hour's time because I'm starving, I need to go and get something to eat. But we could maybe jump on for a wee hour. A wee hour, hour and a half, 11 o'clock. Let's see. Yeah, look out for that. If I'm going to be on World of Tanks, it'll be about quarter to 11. I'll maybe do a few games. But yeah, appreciate the company. Appreciate the likes. Appreciate the banter. Yeah, enjoy the next one. Bye-bye now.